If you're a system integrator, there's a chance you have come across atom switches from Blackmagic and been asked to integrate them with a Crestron system or something else where all you have is a TCP connection to work with to execute commands. And there's no such uh, thing as a TCP interface on the ATEM switches from Blackmagic. But luckily, we have made a small box, the ATEM TCP link, that will give you a TCP interface on the one side, and on the other side, it will talk to the ATEM switch and make that translation for you. And everything that you normally find in the Skahoy controller universe, um, every support we have for ATEM features will be available on this box. We have even done it in such a clever way that the way you discover commands is really obvious. So what I'll demonstrate now is how we connect to this box over IP and then we use the ATEM software to expose the commands we want to execute. Are you ready? Okay, so we have here a terminal window and what I need to do is to tell net into this box on its IP address and on port 8899, like that. So now I'm connected and then over here I have the ATEM software control. So now look at what happens in this window as I press this button to select the first input source. We see that the command that was sent out on the ATEM um, protocol on, on, on the network to um, the device here is reflected down in the uh, output from or the, the telnet window. Let's try input number two, three, four, five, and so forth. Now, we have a mix of three things here. We have two uh, commands talking about tally, and that's the status. It will tell you whether the tally is red and green for the particular inputs, because the ha a change happens to the tally flags in the ATEM switcher when you change inputs. Uh, you'll know that if you know lots about video, or just a little bit about video technology, you know that tally is the, the red lamp on top of a camera. But the important thing is that we have the program input video source, and this value, let's just uh, copy, this, let's just copy this line. This line is what you now copy and paste. So I paste it in, and then I change the five for let's say three again. So now what we should see is that it goes back to input number three. Okay, so I put in three, I execute, and you see the program jumps back to three. Now, just by guessing, we could do the same thing here, three, and then, oh, we could, uh, I will have to then write it all, preview, preview, input, video, source, zero equals three. And we should see now the preview source change to three as I do this. Okay, so that's how basic it is and how you uh, discover functions. So let's try to, uh, okay, with this ATEM switcher, we don't have an auxiliary output, but we could change the transition style. And now you see transition style is exposed. We can also um, change something in the color generator. Like let's change the, the hue in the color generator. Oh, no, actually, there, there we had a limit to what we, you can actually do. So color generators is excluded. That's considered like a fancy feature that you normally don't use. So for the upstream key, rather, we can change the media player um, as fill source back to uh, color bars. Let's do that. And we'll see that now the key of fill source is exposed in the um, terminal window. And we could then copy this command um, and change the fill source as you want. Let's just try and do that and change it to one. So now what we should see is that for the fill source in the ATEM software control, it will change to input one as I execute this. And that's exactly what happened. It changed to input number one. So uh, now you may wonder still, is there like a complete list of commands that I can uh, expect to work? And um, also we saw just how a video source apparently was source number 1000, that was the media player. So if I go to media player, oh no, that was not the media player, it was the uh, color bars, that was 1000, and, and the media player one is, uh, is uh, 3010. Now all these source values are actually documented somewhere, namely in our online documentation for the ATEM protocol. So if you go online to, uh, to this URL, you see on top of this web browser, you will a uh, browser document that tells you how you can uh, work with an ATEM switcher using our open source library. But we have closely mimicked 
the the names we use for commands uh, from this document. So, for instance, we can um, let's for instance take the the command we just had for Kia fill source. Let's search for that on this web page, and when we do so, you see that there is a command here named set Kia fill source, and those parameters you see separated by a colon and eventually uh, an equal sign are the parameters that you find in this list, like the ME, the Kia, and then finally the fill source after the, the equal sign. So if you want to know which commands from this list is supported and which are not, then um, apart from the discovery method that you just saw where you, you uh, connect to the device and then execute a command and see if it appears in the browser or in the um, terminal window, what you can do is you can look for the support in this documentation as well. So everywhere you find um, ATEM UNI mentioned, it will be or ATEM uh, EXT. Uh, okay, in fact, it's not completely true, but to give you like a hint about what will be available, not everything that is in the ATEM MAX package will be there, but more or less the things you find in ATEM EXT is probably gonna be there. Okay, so the authoritative way of finding out is to connect and see what happens when you change a parameter in the ATEM software control. I want to pay a little attention to macros because macros is a very popular way for system integrators to execute a, a number of actions on an ATEM switcher and you can execute macros as well. So we have uh, some test macros here. And if I play back this one, you'll see that it's just going through preview sources. I'll just do it again. So watch out as I press, it just changes input sources for the uh, preview row. Okay, fine. So I want to play back this macro. And unfortunately, if I look in this window down here, I do not see the command that will start macro playback. I only see the states that now it runs, now it stops, now it runs, now it stops. But to actually execute this macro playback, I need to know the command. The reason is that when we start macro playback, we, we, we start playback of something. It's a command we execute, while if we change the, um, the, the source on program, then it's a state change. It's a simple state change in the ATEM switcher that uh, is just reflected on the output. And um, it's more easy to make this relation that you watch what comes out in the um, terminal window and just copy that. Ah, so if you go to the manual and search for macro, then uh, let's do that. Macro, um, macro action. We have something called set macro action and the index points back to one of the macros, the hundred macros you can use in the ATEM switcher while the action would be uh, stuff like uh, zero, one, two, and so forth. Um, so what we may want to do here is to try this one out macro action so that's basically the name of the of the command found right there but without set in front and then the index would be the first parameter after the colon and that index would be depending on which macro we want to play back which one i think we start at zero so zero would be this one called test macro and then test two would be index number one so we put in one equals and then if we look in the documentation we see that running a macro would be um, uh, number zero so i just put in number zero and then if we have the atom software control open here we can now see as i execute this we see that the macro is playing back that's cool so you have seen <clears throat> you have seen us change program sources preview sources run a macro you have seen us change something advanced like the Kia fill source. You have um, seen the main documentation that all of this is derived from and the method of how to discover these commands very easily as soon as you have this device in your hand, integrated it into your AV rack and connected it to the ATEM switcher. You can uh, play and discover the commands that you need for your system integration. That was one thing I just uh, came to think about, which I didn't uh, show you just before, namely, how do you know about the video source index? And again, that's just over in the uh, documentation here. So if you go to the bottom of this page, you'll see here the list of video sources. And uh, we just saw how we have uh, 3010 would be media player one. So just to make that small note in the end of the video, I hope you will enjoy working with this because it will enable you to integrate ATEM switches with Crestron, 
uh, systems and uh, basically any other AV system that can open a TCP connection to um, a, uh, a network port, port and issue commands. So here you have the solution.